Hi everybody. Okay, so um, we are in uh, Hatteras, that's so past Rodanthia and past Oregon Inlet and we're on the beach. Uh, as you can see behind me, the waves are breaking. It's actually a really beautiful day today. Um, a lot different than what it was uh, last weekend uh, with the, the storms and stuff like that. Um, but it's really beautiful out here. We, uh, so far we've collected all types of shells. Um, I don't think there's any wild horses that come down this way, but we did see a lot of um, turtle uh, nest that they block off with, um, with fencing and signs saying do not disturb the nest um, so that the turtles can come in shore, lay their eggs, and then when the, the hatchlings hatch, then they go to the ocean. It kind of helps uh, preserve, uh, preserves their life, you know, a little bit, um, uh, the sea turtles and everything like that, so that's really cool. Uh, maybe on our way back um, uh, into the mainland, I'll take some pictures of that so you guys can see uh, what they look like. Uh, so if you ever come across it, um, uh, you'll, you'll know that these are uh, turtle um, nests and stuff. So that's pretty cool. Uh, behind me, you know, is the waves breaking. Um, it's really, really beautiful. I hope that you can hear the sound of the waves crashing on the shore. It's very relaxing. Um, it's very zenful. Um, if you look behind me, um, there's like nobody out here. We are basically the only ones. Um, I'll turn around uh, so you can see um, that this is a very secluded beach. Uh, and, and one of the nice things about it is that you can drive on the beach. So it gives you a little bit more privacy. Um, away from uh, all the tourists and stuff like that. Now maybe later on during the day there'll be more cars out here. Um, it is Sunday uh, so most people will start heading home towards uh, on Sunday to go back home for work and stuff like that. The good thing is is that you know it only takes us a couple hours to get here so um, we'll leave probably maybe around about 1 30 2 o'clock and get home by 5. Uh, so we can get everything ready for the work week. Um, but I wanted to share this with you. This is another part of North Carolina on the East Coast that's really beautiful. If you ever get a chance to come out here, please do so. Um, during peak seasons, you do have to have a, uh, a pass, um, a permit to drive on the beach. Um, the price varies uh, how long you want to stay. If you want to do a year pass, or if you only want to do um, a day pass or a week pass. Uh, if you live here, I recommend get the year pass. That way you can you know, come out all year round uh, and enjoy the, enjoy the ocean. So um, if you're from out of town and you want to do it, uh, just make sure that you has a, a, have an SUV, four wheel drive, and, but you still have to buy a pass. So um, definitely consider it, I would. It's really, really beautiful out here. There are beach houses out here that you can rent. Um, that are really nice. Uh, there's some some of them that you can actually walk to the beach. You don't have to drive on it, you know, so that's something to check out too. Uh, but this is a really beautiful place. I'm excited to be here. Now, uh, today we're not doing um, day drinking. Um, <laughs> uh, last weekend we started like six in the morning and had quite a bit. So by the time I, I was, yeah, it was it was, uh, it was fun, but it was a little bit brutal uh, to recover. Um, one thing I wanted to let you guys know, I didn't say it in my last video. Um, we have a designated driver. Uh, we did not do any drinking and driving, so please don't think that we, we did any of that. Um, uh, Dawn's uh, fiance, Ron, <laughs> um, doesn't drink, so he is kind of like our permanent <laughs> designated driver. And I do appreciate him doing that. He was a good sport about it. Um, we did have a really good time. Um, we did drive up in the dunes uh, where all the, uh, uh, the houses are. Um, and these aren't like normal roads. These are like sand dune trails. Um, so it's very uh, rocky up and down. It's almost like a little roller coaster ride. Um, so <laughs> with that being drinking, um, I wasn't able to make any videos because um, <laughs> I was just like, yeah, I couldn't get a good video anyways. It'd be too jumpy. And uh, just the, 
just being nauseated um, <laughs> didn't help any either. Uh, we did look to see if there was any wild horses up there by the houses. Sometimes they go up there um, and walk around. Uh, they have free range. Uh, they're wild. Um, I didn't see any, um, but hey, sometimes they, they stay away from people. They know how to uh, social distance themselves. Um, but you do have to make sure that if you do see them, do not feed them. Uh, apples and carrots will um, make them sick um, because they're not domesticated, they're wild, so they, uh, they basically eat the seagrass and stuff like that. So if you ever see them, please try not to go up to them, try not to uh, pet them. Um, and the reason is, is because they are wild. Uh, any type of uh, mother will protect her foal, so they will come after you. They're also territorial, uh, so please don't don't try to attempt to um, to uh, walk up on them um, and don't feed them. Um, one, because you don't want them to rely on people to feed them, and two, it'll make them sick. But anyways, this is a different part of the beach, um, and uh, it's beautiful out here. And the shells, we, uh, I'll have to show you some pictures of the shells. We found some really beautiful ones, some conks, and uh, a few other different types. Um, but we're having a really good time, and I will make another video later. All right, bye. Thank you.